We receive the question a lot about soil that has high pH values to it and whether the farmer should add more calcium to that soil because the interpretation is that calcium will elevate the pH. If you were to look at pure calcium in a elemental form in a water solution, the pH stays in the 6.9 to 7.2 range. So calcium will not elevate a higher pH higher. What the calcium will do is flocculate the soil and help to aerate it. And when that happens in the soil, the microbiological life changes. And the ability to take ammonium nitrogen in soil and to convert it to nitrate nitrogen in the nitrogen cycle occurs very, very easily. And if you look at the chemical equation of the conversion from ammonium nitrogen over to nitrate nitrogen, the chemical formula shows the release of a hydrogen ion, which gives you acidity. So if your soil is already higher in pH, your biological life may not be converting the nitrogen in the soil into a nitrate form. As you change that environment physically with the calcium and you feed the nitrifiers also, you change that their ability to convert that ammonium over to nitrate. And as you do that, you create acid, which automatically brings the pH down. And we've seen this in many heavy soils. For example, in the state of North Dakota, we have customers up there that start out with pHs in the 8182 range, and they're adding a high calcium limestone to it. And within three or four years, and even quicker sometimes, the pH will drop from 82 back to 74. And we've actually had them after several years drop down into the low sevens. It's not the chemistry of the chemical you're adding, it's the biological activity that's occurring in the soil. See, this is what your grandfathers did, guys. They rotated, they had four or five years of legume, plowed it down, put it to a grass like corn or fescue, and have fantastic crops because the biological life was really the key. And see, this is the thing that we've been trying to explain to people, that we have to create the ideal biological and environment so that we rhizophagy the plant and then our need for added fertility will come down. Will it disappear completely? No. But again, it'll match up more with what green plant tissue is. 96% carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, less than 4% mineral.